Hey friend, how are you today? I hope you're having a good day. Today's video is a review and a what fits in a tote that I purchased from QVC. It can be bought in other places too, but I just got it from QVC. But I just took a trip to Florida. I took this bag and honestly, it fit so much. It's like the Mary Poppins bag. You're gonna be totally surprised when you see how much I have fit into this bag. So this is called, I'm looking over here, this is the Lug, so that's from the Lug brand. It's a convertible north-south RFID tote, and it's called the Ace 2, Ace in the number two. I think there was one before this one and they kind of revamped it. But this is what it looks like. So I have the color gray with some quilting here on the front, and it has the backpack straps back here. Let me give you some measurements. So it's 14 and 3 eighths of an inch in height. Okay, this is really heavy just so you know because I've got a ton of stuff in here. And then it is 13 and a quarter inches in width this way, four and three quarters inches in diameter. So this way or maybe from the from the bottom. It does have like a plastic bottom there and little kind of plastic feet. I guess they're plastic, plastic feet. Well, I bought this this tote for work. I wanted a work tote that I could carry in a variety of ways. You know, if you watch my videos, that I like functionality in my bags. So this tote really honestly does it all. It has the tote straps, okay? And the tops of them have like a rubber on them so they'll stay on your shoulder. And then it also has a crossbody bag so you can adjust this. I haven't really used this strap here, but it is detachable. So if you see here, it is detachable on both sides. The hardware is, on this one, gunmetal. So I'll show you the hardware here. For the most part, it's gunmetal. One big strap, or long strap, can be det detached. Also, your tote straps can be detached. And they can be detached with this little hook here, almost like a, um, a bra strap, like strap hook. Sometimes you can detach those. You can det detach this by one of those hooks. So on both sides, you could technically take off these straps and these straps and still have your backpack straps. So those obviously are in the back, so they're adjustable. And you can also remove those here, but you can't remove them from the top. So you could remove them here on the bottom and then just stick them down in this little strap right here, which will go over your suitcase, okay? So you wouldn't have to um, hold it if you didn't want to. You could put it over your suitcase. Like a, was that like a trolley strap or something? I think that's what that's called. So those are the many ways to carry the bag. Now, let me show you the organization that the bag has. So first of all, here on the front, we have one, two, three compartments here on the front. So a zipper compartment, down here, a zipper compartment here, a zipper compartment here. Okay, so three zipper compartments there. Also, there's like a little hidden little pouch there. It's lined with really soft lining there and it has like a little magnet. So it's not zippered or anything like that, but there is a magnet. That's where I kept my phone a lot of the time. On the back, underneath the backpack straps, there's another compartment back there. I kept my wallet there sometimes. So that's a good place for maybe a wallet or a passport if you're traveling. So then you have the zipper top, which zips open. Let me go ahead and just start with the stuff that's in the zippered, the big compartment, because it's really heavy and I need to get the stuff out of it. So most of the time people wanna know if a bag will fit a laptop. Yes, <laughs> this is my, I think it's a 15 point six is a 15.6 inch laptop so i didn't carry it the entire time at one point i did put it in my carry-on bag like the suitcase or whatever so that i could get some of the weight out of this bag but yes it fit in there with everything also it fit my ipad right down in there i had it out because i was looking at the information about the bag but it fit the ipad so i have my little jacket in there. I had my liquids, liquid toiletries and hand sanitizer and stuff like that I had in here. This is the little bag that I got if you remember from the Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. Yeah, it came into good use so I was happy about that. So had all of my toiletries in there. 
and my purse. <laughs> so this is the purse I was carrying for the trip, but if you fly, you know that you get a carry-on and a personal item. So had I had the carry-on and this, this would have been my personal item, and then the bag, my purse would just be an extra one. So I just knew that I wanted to find something that would go in there so I wouldn't be taking up my personal item with just this little purse. Let me just go ahead and show you the interior here. This is what it looks like there on the inside. There is a slip pocket here on the back. There's a zipper pocket right here. And it's like the, I guess, nylon maybe material. This bag weighs like two pounds. So just so you know, it's starting out at two pounds, so not super heavy at all. I think that's a really good weight for a tote or a backpack. In the pockets, I have my sunglasses and then I have an extra mask here. And then over on the other side, I have an extra pair of earbuds. So just to go over that again, in the main compartment, I have my laptop, my iPad, purse, I had my toiletry bag, jacket, and then in the pockets, I had my earbuds, sunglasses, and an extra mask. And then at any point in time, I might have had something else in there. I know that I had a Coke in there. So I had all kinds of stuff kind of moving in and out. Top zips up like up. It extends, if that makes sense. When I first saw it, I really didn't like this, this feature because I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the zippers to be weird. What's weird in my opinion. I thought um, it should have been like this. So what I did is you have that seam right there and the zipper goes down in there. But if you have something that's tall, you can extend that zipper up like that. And that really helped out as far as being able to put more stuff in there. That's like a good inch and a half, I guess, right? So let's get into what I have in these pockets. In this front pocket right here, I have all of like the sanitizing stuff and masks except for that one mask there. The airline was given little wipes every time you got on. Oh, and I have some um, headache medicine here. So I have a mask, a couple of these little one-use Purells, and then a couple of wipes. This was in my hotel, hand sanitizing wipes. They were in each room. And then, like I said, that mask, some Clorox wipes. There's nothing like special about that pocket. It's just a good handy pocket just to have there to put what you need to get to quickly, I guess. Let me take out everything from this other pocket and then I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I stuck my little iPad pen in there and I need to, or pencil, whatever this is called. I need to put that back so I don't lose it. I have my little mask insert thing that goes inside your mask like that. My actual earbuds that I use most of the time. I have my other mask, so masks all over. And I had two Ziploc bags because I wasn't sure if I would be able to carry on my toiletries in that little bag that I showed you. You know, because you're supposed to put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't know. But they never said anything, but I had two extra little bags. Another little bag that I got. This is how they gave you your snacks on the plane. It was in a little bag. It was a little water. And then one flight, I had two little things of goldfish and those, those little Purell things. And then another flight, I had the water, goldfish, and a cliff bar, I think. So that's how everyone got their in flight snacks. They just gave you this. And then here I have my little Chanel compact mirror, which would go back in my purse. And I think that's it. I didn't really put stuff in here as much in here as I could have because this has a lot of organization. So let me show you the inside of this bag. So this one has a little zipper uh, compartment here that is plastic but it's divided here, okay? So you really have two parts here and here. So that zips. And then on the side here, you do have a little clip, so you could clip your keys there, and it is elasticized. And then on the other side, you have some credit card slots, so I think that's four maybe. Pin slots right here, which I know are kind of hard to see because of the material, but two pin slots right there. I think that's it. But it goes all the way to the bottom, so my hand goes all the way to the bottom there. So it's a really deep pouch, so that's good. And then let me just show you again that little pocket there on the front. It is kind of felt lined. So you could put your glasses in there, your phone in there, whatever, and it w it's not gonna get messed up. I have my work keys in here, so I have to put those back so that I don't forget them. Let me show you the side pockets. I forgot about that. You have the pockets on the side for water bottles. 
whatever you want to put in there, an umbrella, whatever. What I really actually like about these is that, again, it has a little magnet in there. So it clips close. Now, what I think is just so interesting about this bag, and to me just makes it cool and just gives it something extra, is this zipper compartment here. If you can hear, you hear that, right? That is because this compartment is for your lunch or for something that needs to be cold. It has that lunch bag lining, right? So see that there? I have so much food in here, it's almost embarrassing. So funny story, when I went through DFW, that's um, Dallas, they didn't want you to take anything at all out of your bags, which is very different from any other flight that I've been on for the past how many years, 20 years or something, right? You're having to take your liquids out, your laptop out, like all of your stuff out. But for some reason on this day, they didn't want you to take anything out. Okay, fine. I didn't, right? So then when I came home, I was flying out of Destin, Fort Walton. They wanted you to take everything out. All of your food, all of your electronics, all of the cords, all of your batteries, everything. And I wasn't, wasn't prepared for that because I was thinking if I didn't have to do it in DFW, which is one of the largest airports in the U.S., I'm not gonna have to do it at some dinky little airport in Destin, okay? But sure enough, I had to do it. So I looked so silly because I have so much food in here and I just keep pulling out food. Like literally, I'm just pulling it out. All right, so let me show you. I got some nuts, some more nuts. I love peanuts. My goldfish, this was from my very first flight, so I just kept those in there. Another thing of goldfish. A beef stick, a Snickers bar, another beef stick. My Tic Tacs, some lifesavers, that Cliff Bar I was talking about, another beef stick, Dub Chocolate, another Dub Chocolate, gum. And I've already actually taken out, let's see, I had some gobstoppers in there. I had another granola bar. It was kind of embarrassing, but anyway. So again, this goes all the way to the bottom there, underneath the straps, there's that little compartment right there. That's where I kept my wallet most of the time. In here, I, I still have my wallet, I left it in there. I just used my new coach one that I just unboxed for you guys. And that is a really deep pocket. My hand goes all the way down. So you see where my arm is. It goes all the way down. So that's an awesome place to put, like I said, passport, wallet, your phone, your keys, things that you don't want to get stolen. So it's an awesome place for that. I think that I've gone over everything in this bag. If you're looking for a travel bag or even just a work bag. I bought this for work. Okay, that's why I bought this bag originally. But if you're looking for a bag to honestly hold everything, this would be it. Right now on QVC, it is about 60 something dollars. I haven't checked on the Lug website or any other websites, but I will link it below. I'll try to find a good deal, like the best deal, and link it below for you. I'm not sure if this gray is still available or I know I saw like a flowery type print with like palm trees and stuff, but I'm sure that they have other prints in other places. So I will definitely look for those for you. I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.